All right, guys, let's make a Peter Luger style steak. So I got this beautiful porterhouse steak from my buddy Nick at the Cajun Cleaver over in Hoover. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna dry brine this overnight. So I'm coating it good with kosher salt on both sides. We got it on a wire rack. We're gonna toss it in the fridge and just let it get happy overnight. So the next day, we're gonna pull it out a good 20 minutes before we're ready to cook it. Time to work on that butter. Got a stick of butter, that W sauce, baby, some kosher salt and garlic powder. Toss it on the stove, get it melted down. Now, once our butter is melted, time to move on to the steak. I hadn't done anything else but dry brown it. I've got my pizza oven cranked up to 850 degrees. We're gonna let it go for a minute, spin it, and let it go for another minute. Now, after that two minute mark, we're gonna pull it out, nice and sizzling, good and crusty. We're gonna flip it over and repeat the process. Throw it in there for a minute, spin it, let it go for another minute. Got a little flames on this one, but hey, it's all good. Now, after that two minute mark, we're gonna bring it inside, let it cool off a minute so we can handle it. Now the steak is still raw at this point, completely raw. So we're gonna slice it up. We're gonna throw the bone in a cast iron skillet and we're gonna lay our filet on the side that it came off of and we're gonna repeat the process with the New York strip side. Get it sliced up, place it in the cast iron skillet next to the bone. You really don't wanna see any pink. You wanna kinda of keep it as tight as you can when you're cooking it. So when you lay it in your cast iron skillet, make sure everybody is you know, as close together as it can be, I guess. Now we're gonna take that butter, this is the best part. Pour that butter all over it. You wanna get every nook, cranny, cause that's where your flavor comes in. Now, once we get all the butter on there, back out to the pizza oven. We're gonna let it go for another minute and a half, two minutes, I actually went two minutes on this one. So we're gonna let it go for a minute. We're gonna spin it around, let it go for another minute. After that two minute mark, pull it out and look at that crusty goodness right there. This might be the best body steak I've ever had, hands down, no joke. Garnish it with a little bit of parsley. There ain't but one thing left to do. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to go on for that bite, baby. I'm gonna tell you, it was absolutely freaking killer. Enjoy, guys.